I think that there's a subconscious sort of dreamlike aspect of how I work because I'm constantly taking, um, I, I, I'm referencing back uh, the photography. I have a bit of a photographic memory to start with. So the photography triggers memories and elements that I um, that definitely are translated into my work. People often ask me why I, why I include the grid in my work and why I score my boards. It, it, it's a mechanical issue, it's a process-based issue that allows me to place multiple images within the same, within the same uh, painting. Because it has so much movement and is so chaotic, and there are, are so many elements of uh, combining together, the grid acts as sort of a moment of, of uh, quiet or a moment of peace. I think that the whole idea of my abstractive process is not just about a place, but the feeling that a place gives you or the, the, the way you got to that place. And I'm constantly sifting, whether I'm sifting through memories or I'm sifting through dream elements or I'm sifting through actual photography of places I've really been. What triggers me emotionally and what triggers my attention are very small details in my work. It's just capturing that moment where the water hits the, the rocks and where they, where they combine and become one and then come back apart again and how to capture that. And that's the same thing about capturing light because light has its own energy and its own uh, movement and it reflects on every surface differently so you have to figure out a way to, to uh, to tell that story.